Before we guide you through the installation process, let's see what's in the box. You get the Predator 240, thermal paste, PWM and power cable, mounting screws, and Torx T20 key. Be sure to read the installation manual thoroughly. This guide is not meant as a replacement for the installation manual. First, you'll have to prepare your PC chassis for mounting the unit. While there are many different cases on the market, they do share some similarities and features. You should remove the panels and decide on the position of the unit. You can use a measuring tape to find out if the unit will fit. See the installation manual for the correct orientation. You might get into a situation where the holes on the chassis won't match with the unit pattern. Just make sure the unit can be firmly fixed. Take the enclosed connection cable and plug the two-pin connector to the fan splitter hub. Take the enclosed power cable and plug the two-pin connector to the fan splitter hub. First, unmount the motherboard out of the chassis. Unscrew all four thumb nut screws and remove the Supremacy MX back plate and BAS gasket. Using the enclosed Torx key, remove the three original screws on the socket latch mechanism. Replace the original backplate with a BAS gasket and Supremacy MX backplate. Place the BAS gasket first and then the backplate. Now you can install your motherboard back into the motherboard tray. After you determine the Predator 240 position and orientation, you can use the enclosed screws to firmly mount the unit in the desired place. Before applying the thermal compound, you should wipe the CPU's contact surface with a non-abrasive cloth or Q-tip. Apply the enclosed thermal compound to the CPU. The quantity of about two rice grains is just about right. Applying too much thermal grease will have a negative impact on the cooling performance. Take the water block and remove the sticker on the copper head. Align the block over the CPU and tighten the screws until you reach the end of the thread, preferably by tightening two thumb screws at a time in the cross pattern. Do not use any tools, such as pliers, during this process. Take the PWM cable from the Predator splitter hub and connect it to the motherboard. Check with your motherboard installation manual for the correct connector. Take the power cable from the Predator splitter hub and connect it to the SATA power supply cable. Check with your power supply installation manual for the correct connector. Your Predator installation is now complete. You can proceed to installing other components and connecting the rest of the cables.